The Sikha we're gonna learn is Lakute Sikhas Khilik Tasvav, the third Sikha to Parsha Svayigash. The safe parsha saying the end of this week's parsha, which means a parsha Svayigash. For the Tayra that sailed to Yasev and despised the Ainbay Nefanaritz Mitzrayim and Eretz Knan, where the Tayra tells us how Yasef supported and fed basically the inhabitants, the people who lived in Egypt and the people who lived in Eretz Knan. Because they came from Eretz Canaan also to buy food. When as Beshazi of American Kesev Nitihat and Vosti Kate Mishpais, and when they didn't have any more money to buy food, was the Yasef he gave him Lechem for Zayer Mikne. So Yasef gave him bread in exchange for their cattle. As long as they had money and gold and silver things, they paid with that. When that was used up already, they gave as much as they had. So now he gave him the food in exchange for the cattle that they paid with the cattle for that. Shtaitan Posek and the Posek says, Vayitin lam Yasef lechem basus in the gamer. Says Yasef gave him bread for exchange of horses, etc. And the Posek continues, Vayinalim balechem. And the word Vayinalim Rasha will explain that's the whole Sikha based on. But let's say the word Vayinalim means he led them. He was there and led them with bread, and with all their cattle, Bashonahi that year. So that year, he gave him the food for the cattle in exchange for their cattle. Rasha from word by Yenalim. So Rasha quotes the word from the Posik where it says by Yenalim, and again it says by Yenalim Balechem. What does the word by Yenalim mean? And this Mafara Rasha says Kamei by Yenagin, as if it as if it would say what it means by Yenagin. He led them. He was their leader. He led them with bread. But Daimale Rasha says there's I can bring a ayat that that's the meaning of could be the meaning of the word. A similar word is when the Posik says Ein Minahelo. The Posik in Yeshaya talks the time when Yidin were in Golis. There's no one to lead them. And there it says the word leading, but it used the word menahel. Another Posik, the Posik says, it's the Posik in Tilim, which means that Hashem will lead me on the calm waters. So here again, we have the word Yinalainia, it means leading. So from here, Asher brings an example that here too, by Yinalain Balecha means he led them with bread. And he led them with bread. In exchange for all their cattle. Lenin Nigma Pashtis, when you learn this Rash simple pshat, kumt rasha dop rash in the word by Yanalim. Simple pshat, Rasha is going to translate the word by Yanalim. Ibaldus is Aloshim was nita ze rogim chumish. Since it's not a lush, not an expression that's so common in chumish. So therefore Rasha has to explain what the word means. When the river brings the Rasha Rayas is on Pirish, therefore Rasha brings proofs, two proofs to his pshat that by Yanalim means he led them, he was their leader. As Megifint Nochet with the Loshin Nahel meant Nag. But we find other places where the word Nahel means leading. Loshin Nag. As is Obinit Fashtandik, the Rebbe says it's not really understood. Number one, Megifint and Loshin Echfri and Chumish. We find the Loshin Nahel earlier in Chumish. Es Nahalo Liiti. I will lead slowly. Undorti Rasha Nit Mefarish was the word meant. There, Rasha doesn't explain what the word means. So therefore, as Mimon of Shech, so the Rebbe said, whichever way we look at it, it's not clear. If the child who's learning Chumash knows the meaning of this word, which seems so, which is the reason why the first time this word is mentioned, Rasha doesn't have to explain it. Obviously, because it's a word that the child or anybody who's learning Chumash will know. Why is it important that Rashi, in our Parsha, where the word is written a second time, that's where Rashi decides to explain it. If you look at the other side, that it's a word that's not common, and therefore the Ben Chomish, the child that's just starting to learn Chumish, doesn't know the meaning of the word. When the father says Rashi, that's why in our Parsha, Rashi has to explain it. But the Rashi gets up and says, if the child person is learning doesn't know the meaning, he should have explained it the first time. By a snail on it says, I will go. When Yaakov said to Asa, Asa wanted him to come to visit him. So he said, I'm going to go slowly. So it says in the snail, which means I will lead the family and lead everybody slowly. So there, Rasha doesn't say anything. Now, if the person who's learning Chumash doesn't know the meaning of the word, Rasha should have explained it over there. Since he doesn't, assuming he does know the meaning. If he doesn't know the meaning, why does Rasha have to explain it here? That's one cash. Second Kasha Ros bring Rasha Tzvei Rais the Perusha so you need to know the end of the Tzvei. Why does Rasha bring two proofs to his Pshat and it's not enough one? And that's the Klal always Rasha. Rasha doesn't need more than one proof. Whenever he brings two proofs, 
is because each one is missing something and only the two together explain it. So what's wrong with each one of these chatim that you need the other pshat also? Third question. The first proof that Rasha brings is from a posik in Yeshaya, where it says, as we said at the Abish, just saying the time of Golis, there's no menial, no one leading. In Yeshaya itself, in Tanakh Yeshaya, there's an earlier posik. The posik of Mabui Maiminalem, he's going to lead them on the wells, the springs of water. And the word Yinalem says there. And it means the same thing, it also means he will lead them. So that would be a better raya. Rasha should have brought that raya for two reasons. If Rat, especially as number one, Dort is a loshim, but they may mamash loshim, I inayalim in the posik. There, it says the same word, yinahalim, which is the exact same word as it says here, by yinahalim. So it's closer. See, the Rasha that the raya that Rasha brings is from the posik, which is ein menahel lo. So the word menahel is from the same root, but the other, the other posik is the same word, mamash. And the second thing, Dort is the word Betech Chiyuvi, in Alein. In Tanach Yishai, in the earlier Posik, it says, Amabuya Maim in Alein is going to lead them on the springs of water. It's a positive thing. As they've been leading the dog, like in our case, that he says that Yesav are in Alein, but like something good. The Shaykh the Posik, Ein Menahel, is in Yonish Lile. The Posik that Rasha brings is a negative thing. There is no Menahel. So why would rather Rasha bring from the second Posik with these two problems, not problems, but these two? Chesreinus, when he could have brought from the other post. Fourth kasher, Vivaldas mit menag by nagim, mit rasha up touch in the word by yinalim. When Rasha starts off in his posik, his pirish on the posik, he says, kamei by nagim, which means, as we said, simple pshat, he's trying to explain the word by yinalim means like by nagim. So if Rasha means to explain the word by yinalim, but Rasha gedar zogan nit kamei by yinagim, what does it mean like by yinagim? If he's trying to translate the word, you say, what does that mean? It's a lotion of leadership, a leading, or the lotion of a game, or the lotion of a lotion of a game, a lotion of leading the is similar. Why does Asha say this is like by game? What does it mean, like by game? Should have said it's the same lotion as there, but he says, like by game. That means that there's some deeper shot here. Fifth kasha. If I was a kasha, but they melee a menahelo. Then what Asha brings the two rayas. So he starts off, but they melee similar to it is a menahelo. When he's similar to it, or nit vechein. It doesn't say and also we have another pasuk which uh, which says the same thing a menahelo. He says rogel bepirish Rasha bekayitzu bezeh like in Rasha a lot of times when he wants to bring another pasuk similar to the pshat he says in this pasuk he says vechein the same over there too. Why does Rasha here write a strange word? It's similar. Since Rashi says so it's not that this is exactly the same mashma that the both psukim aimenayelo and al meimenuchas nalenya the two rays Rashi brings is not mamish like over here. That's what Rashi said, similar to it. But the question is, why is it not the same? It's all the same. It all means the same thing. It all means that that it was from the lotion of leadership. The beer possesses, the Rebbe explains it like this. Rasha wrote his commentary in Hebrew. Any common word in Russian Kedish, Rasha doesn't have to translate. Since Rasha wrote his, his Pirish Russian Kedish, obviously he's writing it to somebody who understands Russian Kedish. So if it's a normal word in Russian Kedish, Rasha doesn't have to explain it. So there's no reason to Rasha to say a pshat. That's why the first time when it says Esnalo Liti, but the Rebbe asked, why didn't Rasha explain the word there? That Esnalo means leading, because it's a Hebrew word, Lashon Ketish, a word, and Rasha realized that the person who learns knows Lashon Ketish. That's why over there he doesn't explain it. Vorma ben Chomesh was learned Rasha Lashon Ketish, a child, even a child of five years old, who's learning Rasha, and Rasha is written in Lashon Ketish, so he knows the Lashon Ketish, Vezdam Taish, he knows the meaning of the word. What does it mean by Isnalo Ich Vel Fin Zich and the Lodim Say the Bokar? I will lead. And there it's talking about I will lead myself and I will lead the, the children, I will lead the cattle, etc. etc. So just to translate the word, that's not what Russia is interested in. Russia doesn't have to translate. This is a, a word that people know in Russian Kiddish. That's why the first time it says where everything makes sense, Russia has nothing to say. Oh, but in them possible, but in the possible here, who a state by Inalim Balechem. 
Here it says a strange thing. He led them. By Nali means he led them with bread. What does that mean? You can't say he led them with bread. What do you mean he led them from bread? Led them means you're leading on the road. You're going on a trip and you're their leader. You're leading it. He led them with bread. So here Rashi has a problem, not in the main meaning of the word, but the meaning of the word here can't be regular. Can't be that means that he led them with bread. The Targum explains these words. It means he fed them with bread. So he teaches a different teacher. By Nalan here means he gave them food. He fed them with bread. That makes sense. Simple pshat. Rasha can translate that way. Because it says already in the Pesach earlier, by eating them, Yosef lechem basusim. The Yosef gave him the bread. He gave him the bread in exchange for the horses, etc., etc. So already says that he fed them. When you give him bread, it means you're feeding them. So why would the Pesach repeat again and say, by now and Balechem, he fed them with bread? He already said that he gave them, in exchange for the horses, he gave them bread. Even though the Pesach here is adding something, that he gave it not only for, for horses, but he gave it in Bechol Miknayim, which means in all, all of their cattle in that year. So Rashi, the Pesach does repeat it by adding different, a new thing. To add that, it's not important to add that he fed them with bread. Already says he wants to add that he gave it not only for horses, etc. He gave it for all their mikne that he could add. But why mention again that he fed them with bread? So it could have just been he could have added just these words: all their cattle that year. But you didn't have to repeat by Nailam Balecha, meaning that you fed them with bread. So therefore, Rasha can't learn like the Targum that it means he fed them with bread. So what is the Pshat? So we're going back to normal. The Pshat is he led them with bread. When you like you lead with bread, how do you lead with bread? The river that Rasha Mafaras on Kmeva Nagin. That's what Rasha is not coming to translate the words. He wants to say this is like by Nagin. And the Rebbe has a shadow. What do you mean Kanai Kmeva Nagin? It's a Losh Nanoge. The Rebbe says, when Rasha says this, it's an interesting chat. When Rasha says, Rasha means the word Vayinagim that's written in a different posse. So, Rasha is not trying to tell us that the word Vayinalim comes from the expression of leaders leading. Here it's not enough and doesn't fit. Now, like I explained before, there is a word Vayinagim in Tilim. The Posik in Tilim, Kapitol Ayinchez, the Posik says, Vayinagim ka'ed de Bamidbot. That he led them, the Ebrish led them in the desert, the Eden in the desert, like a herd of sheep. Uderibazot Rasha kamei Vayinagim. That's what Rasha says, kamei, he means to refer to, mainly to that Posik. It also tells us it means Hanogi, but that's not the Ike. Kamei Vayinagim says, this word Vayinalim here is similar to another Posik. It's not touching the word. Similar to the posse vayinagim, like it says there in Tilim, ka'edeh b'amidbo. Unit losh nanokis. Rasha doesn't write, this is a losh nanokis. That's not what he's trying to tell us. And Rasha doesn't have to say where the posse is. The Rebbe says in order 15, that this word vayinagim is only once in the whole Tanakh. And that's that posse. So when Rasha says k'mei vayinagim, like the word vayinagim, everyone will know, if you only know what it says, that this is the posse vayinagim that says in Tilim. So Rasha is trying to tell us that this is the same thing as Vainagim over there. When the meat is Echmus with the Loshim Vainal and Balechem Bamele, if you learn that this is like Vainagim over there, we will automatically understand how you're able to use the word Vainale by bread. Because normally Vainale means he led them, he led them with bread. But if you look, say this is the same meaning as it was, as written Vainagim in Tilim, we'll understand how you could say Vainale and Balechem, Kidol the comment as the Rebbe will explain here. This is what the Rebbe is going to explain to Pshat. The Loshim Betilim Vainagim meant meat as the Abish that they give it in Talich Islam Kipshute. When it says in Tilim Vainagim Kaeda Bamidba, the Abish that led the Yidin in the desert like a herd of sheep, doesn't mean to tell us, doesn't mean the Posse is not telling us that he led him. Posse, what does it mean leading? Leading means you go, you walk, and there's a leader who leads the, the, the trip, leads the walking. The Posse is not trying to say just that, that the Abish was the leader of our traveling. That's not what the Posse means. 
What's he trying to say? The Abish led us in a special way, a special behavior. And he says, he led us, he was a leader, like you, like sheep, like when you lead the sheep. What does that mean? When you lead the sheep, it's mit When you say someone is a shepherd and leads the sheep, it doesn't mean just he walks ahead of them and they follow him. He's their leader. He leads them, it means he takes care of them. He cares about them. Like a shepherd who leads the herd that's found in the desert. But the skum to that comes through caring about them and doing that as Allah said in Yonim is on Zion Pay from the Master of the He cares that everything that happens to them should be on the best possible way, the best way that fits in the best possible way. So what the Posik says, by Nagim Ka'ed by Midbor the Tayra, the Posik and Tilbah is trying to tell us, he led us, but a different type of leading, not leading when you walk and you're a leader of the people who walk behind you and you lead them. It means you take care of them. Just like when they like a shepherd takes care of a sheep. So that's what the word by Nahagim over there means. He led the Eden with special care in their needs that they have. Well, that is a Bianenu. So Rasha says the same thing is what by Nalim Balech means. Because the Kasha that Rasha had is by Nalim means he led them. What does it mean? He led them with bread. Yosef led them with bread. Doesn't make lead them with bread. But now he says it's the same type of leading, like it says in that Posik. Oh, now we'll understand how it fits to bread. After it says that they had no more money, no more gold and silver, and they gave, Yosef gave him bread in exchange for his, for their sheep, for their cattle. The Posik adds that not only he gave him bread, he led them with bread in that year. What does that mean? So Rasha says it means the same way in the Posse Vayina again. The Posse Vayina again came to the Bermid Vuai. It was a new place he gave him spies. It not only gave him food. But at Ongefir di Bashpaisi gana if me yuchad amasin. When he gave him food, he gave the food in a special caring way. Uyserechen di kun aintelun dig dem lechem. Taking account and dividing the bread as a zain mast, as a mast zain of agansior. Gave him bread. He rationed the bread that they should be enough for them for the whole year. Not to use it up right away. So that's what it means. He led them with bread means, just like over there, he led the Yidin and the Debish that led the Yimaynagim, Kedib, Amidbor. That means he took care of them and he made sure that they get what they need. So when he gave them bread, not only that he gave them bread in exchange for their cattle, he gave them the bread, he took care of them, giving them the bread in a way that they should take care of them. So it's a more broader sense of leading. It's not just leading like the Nikki should take. Baldera with the Posik of Free, like the Posik said before, by Halka Yesav Sovib, the Sechov has called by Sovil Lechem of Yatov. It says Yesav fed his father and his brothers and the whole family bread according to the children. What does that mean? So Rasha says, Adosi is the Yatorah Hold Nebeson. That is according to what every family member needs. Pavorendik, I feel the dos was the Derech from Tafis Lefara Alechem. To take care in consideration, even the fact that when you give children bread, they spoil, they they break it, they, they they the crumbs, they crumb it up more than they would eat. So he took care of it. He gave him enough that that should include that too. So we see how much he took care when he gave the bread. He took it with a cheshbon. He took it in a way that he's taking care. In the as we find the the way he behaved in gathering the grain and the good years to prepare for the hunger years. He took care, make sure that it should last. It shouldn't get spoiled. He took care of that. Rash explains those was the Posik Zog. The Posik says, He put the food in the cities and he put from the food of the fields around there, he put inside. What does that mean? So Rasha says it means as Yesab at Azegiton, Yesab did that. That he put some of the parts of the tfu from of this the earth from the fields of that place where it came from, put it in. Their farbal kol eretz veretz mamit medes pedesel. Every land, every area that gives fruit, neis nebi tfu of mafara mokim. If you put into the grain, into the bushel of grain, you put in some of the sand, some of the earth from that place. Umamides atfu be lerokim that holds back the tfu from getting spoiled. So this shows another thing, how he doesn't just gather food. He took care of everything in the proper way. 
He took care before when he was gathering. And later, when he gave them the food, he took care. It should be enough for everybody, including whatever they need, even extra, so the children should be able to, you know, spoil some, drop some, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what the pasuk is telling us here? Why does the pasuk add by inalim If you're going to say it means he led them by giving them bread, it doesn't fit. By inalim balechem means he led them with bread. So the pasuk is adding something else. The pasuk is saying first it says he gave him the bread. Then the pasuk is adding by inalim balechem he gave him the bread in a caring way that he led them like it says by inalim kedra midbar. And that's what Rashi means when Rashi says kamei by inalim. Rashi is not trying to explain the taich of the word, the meaning of the word. Rashi is just telling you the meaning here, what the Torah is trying to tell us here, is the way, same way the Torah tells us in the Pasuk of Einagim. Now we know which Pasuk it is because there's no other Pasuk of Einagim in Gans Tanakh. So we know what it means there. And over there it means not that he led them, pushes, he walked in front of them. It means he took care of them and he cared about them in what he did to them. So here too, Yosef cared about what he gave. When he gave him the bread, he gave it in a form of caring. So that's what Rashi means. That, and that fits the word of Einagim. So the kasha was vaynalem, but how do you lead in bread? In, if vaynagem means the same, vaynalem means vaynagem, and vaynagem means they're not he led them, but means he took care of them in a leadership position. But he took care of them, so here also it means he took care of giving them bread in the caring way. Now, since we said that the word vaynalem here is doesn't mean pasha take it, pasha leading in simple pshat. And even the parasha bring your eyes to the gemoyes. So Rasha therefore has to bring proof. Since it's not a simple pshat, the word Vainalim means he led. Now Rasha is machadesh that Vainalim here doesn't mean he just led them as a leader. But what it means is that he took really care of them. So it's not a simple literal translation of the word. So Rasha has to bring proof for it that not, it doesn't only mean a simple meaning of leading. It's a special leading, a leadership in the form of caring. That's what Asha says. Similar to it is when it says in Posik, that by Eden, time of Golas, there's no one to lead them. There also it means like that. Rasha wants to bring an example that we find the word Hanhol, the word Nihol, is not just leading, but leading in a caring way. Well, how do we know it's there? Even that over there too, when it says Eimenahelo, is no Menahel, means similar to the Vayinahelim here. Well, Dort Neretzeb and Negei Klal Yisrael. There it talks about Klal Yisrael all the Eden. He's moving by Pasha. Does his main Tanhol of the and moving Klal. So when it says that there's nobody to to lead them, it does. And it's talking about Klal Yisrael. What does that mean? There's nobody to walk with them. No one to walk ahead of them. No, there it means leading them in the form of taking care. That's obvious from that posik. So Rasha brings an example. There it says the same word Menahel. And there it also means not just leading Kipshuti, but leading taking care in the leadership way. So the Mele Rash brings an example that just like over there, it means not the simple type of kneel of leading. Elamai, it means taking care. So the same thing by us, by Inalim, could also mean that. Well, please say, moving us. Rasha brings in the free thing, composing in Yeshaya, well, Mabu and Maim Inalim. Now we understand why Rasha, one of the questions was why Rasha, if he brings a posting in Yeshaya, why doesn't he bring the earlier posting where it says, Mabu and Maim Inalim, that he's going to lead them on the springs of water? There it says, after another word where it talks about leading them. There it says, to lead them. And there also doesn't say specific things what he's doing. So it says, also means, there also means that he's going to lead them in general, meaning leading them in a caring way. So there, when it says afterwards, can't mean the same thing. means that he takes care of them. That's written in the beginning of the post. Yenagim, it says. And Yenagim there doesn't say, I'm what? In specific things. So obviously, it means leading, taking care of them. So since the beginning of the post already speaks about taking care of them, why would the second half of the post mean the same thing again? Yenagim is taking care of them. The river Darfas Nich Tay Nohamal does not have to say again. Therefore, he's not a boy, my minal in Pirushi, the Pashta. So, therefore, there, when it says he will lead them on the springs of water, means keep shoot the simple. Neil Gashmi, the pale Pasha, he will lead them. Everett say, Fin, if I'm mocking from Kvalbas, he will lead them to a place where you have spring water. Behemshach Tzim Tzil, supposing, continues, 
The beginning of the Pesach says, Le yiravu, they won't be hungry, but like Yitzmo, they won't be thirsty. And the Pesach continues, because he will bring them to have a spring of water. So there, Rasha couldn't bring that. See, if Rasha would want to say the word, to come to explain the meaning of the word, maybe he could have brought that Pesach. But Rasha is not trying to say the meaning. The meaning we know. Raya Rasha doesn't explain it the first time it says. It's Nalo. So Rasha is not trying to explain the meaning of the word. He's just trying to say that there is a concept of using the word leading, meaning taking care in a general way. So you can't bring a raya from this posse. But the other part of the posse, then there is a raya. We'll see. Like them as a chashtani, but Rasha brings the need of posse from the shalach. This answers another thing. Rasha could have brought another posse as a raya. From Chumash, Pasha Basalach, Nehalta Baos Chumabeka Checha. Nehalta means you're leading with your strength to the holy place to Bishamikdash. And there, but Nehalta means you lead. So if Rasha would want to explain that the word here by us, where it says, by Yanal, it means to lead, you could have brought that Posik, which is a Posik in Chumash, in Pasha Basalach. But the way where Rebbe is explaining it, that he couldn't bring that. For him, Eich Dort Volt Megillen Bepashtus, because in that puzzle we learn simple pshat, as Nehalto is on Neil from Gain and Levika Chechad, means to go. Yes, he will lead you. There it doesn't mean he will take care of you, lead you in a caring way. There it means Kipshute. That's not what the Rasha is trying to tell us, what the word means. The Rasha is trying to tell us a deeper pshat. So that's why he can't bring it there. But there it says, when he gave in the under air, the Nach, with the Losh Neil, meant he does, because he didn't know if he was going to be in other, other places we have in Nivim and Ksuvim, where it also uses the word Nihul. And Rasha doesn't bring from any of the other Psuki. Why? Because in those places, it means, doesn't mean the general idea, taking care generally. There it means just walking. So Rasha only brings here. So Rasha brought this Psuk here to teach you that here we're talking about in Klobu. So first Psuk Rasha brings as an example that there is such a thing as neo meaning na is dike is the posik ein menahelo, where it says that there is no menahel, which means there's nobody leading the Eden, the time of Golos, and there it means not leading Poshad in walking, there it means the clothing, that's a good right. But over the posik ein menahelo is nitkan dinya maspik mamash nitkan But still, as Rebbe said, since the Rashi brings two rays, it means each ray itself is not enough. So that is not 100% good. It's explains and it brings a raya that there is a neo cloli which means a general taking care and that could be used neo even though it means to lead but it's a general leadership but it's still not the same over there why even though a menial when it says there's no menial doesn't mean there's nobody leading the the walking is over the unholy clothes was misfit but when we're talking about not a specific thing we're talking about, even when we're talking about taking care, you're leading it in a form of taking care. But if you're taking care of everything, that could be more similar to walking, that you have everything and you're taking care of it. So you're leading in all these things. So it has a certain similarity to push it walking. So when it talks over there, a menial or attack, it doesn't mean menial in a specific thing, but it means in everything. Menial by Eden, that David is just saying in Golos, there is no menial means taking care of everything, it means he will not lead you. Uh, the word lead you could mean walking, could also mean taking you to whatever you need. So since over there, it's talking about a general, very general, everything. So it's not a complete 100% proof to us, where it says, here it says he led them with bread. So it doesn't mean he's leading walking, it means taking care, but even that, he specific, says specifically with bread. You can bring a complete 100% raya from the Posig in Manayalo, because there we're using it for everything. So it comes out like this. Maybe the word Manayal, Neil, could mean walking, leading the way to walk. It could mean leading, Bachlal, being the leader, could be also. We're trying to find something in between. The posse here means leading, not walking. But it doesn't mean everything. It's not complete leadership. And if it's not complete leadership, and it's talking about a specific thing, where do we see that even then you could use the word kneel, meaning taking care, not walking, not leading the walk, taking care of a specific thing in a caring way. When it, by us, we're talking about Yenal and Balechem, that he led them with bread. So we're talking about bread, by a specific thing. Is that the real? Do we have a proof that, that you could use the word leadership, Neil, on that, like walking? 
So when you're a maniacal and we're talking about the leadership of everything, that could be to a certain degree, it has a concept of leading. But when you're not talking about everything, a specific thing, but it doesn't mean you're leading, you're not walking. So where do we really see from this posik that you could use that same term when you're not leading and walking, you're leading generally, but it's a, a specific thing. That's what Rashi brings a raya from a second posik where it says he will he's leading me on the water, the calm waters. With the lotion, you're now laying well, he's moving that rochel. Here it also doesn't mean leading, walking. Here it means leading in, in the general taking care. But here it's taking care in a specific thing. drinking. So here it also means leading, not walking, but at the same time, it's talking about a specific thing. So from here we see that even if we're talking about leadership, but it doesn't mean everything, you still could use the same lotion leadership, even though it's not walking and it's not leading everything, and still you could use it. But the Rebbe says, "Undi raya from dem posik bring trash and dafke nor the raya from posik even nayla." But this raya he brings after the first raya. He said, "Why the first raya is not enough? Even though from the first raya we see clearly that nihil doesn't mean dafke leading and walking. There we see, but there's something missing there as far as our posik is concerned, because there it's leading completely, and here it's not. But the Rashi." First brings the first posik. For him, their posik al If you're going to bring the second posik only, where it says he's leading, and the mei menuches on the waters, the calm waters, he's a moshel of kolot sarchayodim. There, it's a moshel on all the needs of a person. That even though it's talking about the water, but it means really all the needs. They are on them kapitel that kapitel that chapter until him starts of Hashem rei leyechsa. Hashem is my shepherd. There's nothing I'm missing. The next day, he's going to put me down in the, in the, in the, on the grass, etc., etc. So Bamele is talking about not missing anything. So there also, it means everything. So since it's talking about all the needs of a person, so we could have learned that when it says, here it's a moshal, that you may kneel with pastas. Since it's a Loshna Moshal, so Taki is trying to tell us that Hashem is leading us in all our needs. But he's using a Moshal to it, just like somebody leads you to the proper waters. So since this, this, these words, is a Moshal. So it could be in the Moshal, Taki means that. A Moshal of leading by, to the waters. Like I said before, when he said that the springs of water is going to lead us. At the beginning of the post, it says, you put me down on the grass. Now, it doesn't mean physically put down on the grass. It's a moshul. So maybe this is also a moshul. Maybe in the moshul, he's not talking about what the will give us everything. Give us all the food that we need, all the drink. So it's a moshul. So maybe you could touch that it means that he will walk with us. So that Pesach itself would not be a good raya. Or Balach, every Mizet from Pesach, Eim and Ayla, the Loshon Nil is Masa Nidblay, Zephan Nil, from Halicha Gashmish. But after Rasha brought already a raya from the Pesach, Eim and Ayla, but there it's clearly not physical walking. There's no one that's leading us, not physical walking. So now that we see that we could use that, that the word Nil could also go on the taking care. Taich, Vnei Chal, Meim, Nuchs, Nalena, Das Meim, Pan, Deminyaf, Non, Fim, Diala, Tzarech, Yodam. So then we could already say, when it comes to this Pesach, also could mean, there's no reason to say it means only as the marshal is bringing to the water, but it means all the needs of a person. That to take, take care from all the food and drink that you need. So it comes out like this. Only when we put the two psukim together, then it's similar to what it's mean in our post. Number one, we know that the word when nihil, which means leading, doesn't mean leading Dafka when you're walking and he's the leader of the group. I know you that. Or the Norban Gates are closed and the Holofanabanid. Or when it comes to leading everything, the general leadership of, of a country. Or when arm of a nation, the gates are similar. This could also be used when it's a general meaning, not of walking. But it's connected to. Something specific. 
Because in the second POSIC, we're saying it's connected to food, that this represents food. So when we put the two psukim together, number one, we know that Amenayalo means Kolazik. And the second POSIC, we, now that we say it means Kolazik, there it also means leading. And there it's also not concerning everything. There it's concerning the food and things like that. So we see that we could use the word Neo, which means leading, in not, not tafke in Gashmazik leading when you're walking, not only when it's a cloy everything, but it could be used as a cloy, but the cloy itself is concerning specific things. And the Mela from there, Asha says that when it says, means just like over there where it says in Posik, that means Kolazik. And that's what the, now we understand every word, every answers, every kasha. Why he doesn't bring a eye from Nisnal and Iti? Not a raya. Why doesn't he Rasha Taich over there? What it means? Because Rasha is not interested in Taiching the word. We know what it means. Why does he bring two rayas? We just explained why he means two rayas. The third question was, why doesn't he bring the other posseg where it says, because their attack means physically walking. That's that. Rasha is not interested in telling Nile needs to, to lead the group. Then he says, why does Rasha say, because he's not trying to teach us that the word means anogya. He's trying to compare that this has the same teichen as the Vainagin. The fifth kasha was, why does it say the Deimale? Eimen Ayelo is similar. So he says that it's not really the same because it's not going to have the same. Because the two psukim, each one in itself would not be enough. So together, we put it together, we come out understanding that we could say Vainagin Balecha means he led them with bread, which means he gave the, he took care, general taking care, not only leading physically, because it has nothing to do with leading with bread. And he took care from them. He took care with them with the bread. As we said before, in the way he gave it to make sure that everything gets, everyone gets what they need, etc., etc. For Yenish Shaltayr and Finish Rashi, from Yenish Shaltayr, which means the Chsidish Shapshat in Rashi. So the Rev explains that this gets a little bit, Chsidish, not so much explanation in the concepts, but the way it's put into Rashi. If impossible, like a Yosef is called a Kesar and Intabed at Mitzrayim, when it's on the Possible where it says that Yosef collected all the silver, all the money that was in Mitzrayim. By Yove, Yosef is a Kesar based on Pari, Yosef brought this Kesar. Into the house of Parai, is that Alter Rebbe Mavayin and Teirei, and concerning on this pasuk, the Alter Rebbe explains in Teirei, as a Navas Hashem that in God's face we can call him, that in loving Hashem, the in the union of Avas Hashem, there are two general uh, categories. Number one, the Ava Basvet Neilat Musechel. There's a love that you get to Hashem, which is born, created by intellect. When there is born in this Gadlas Hashem, by this beinim, by contemplating on the greatness of Hashem, this will create. The person, a feeling of love to Hashem. Pasha Begashmi is, if you understand something is so good, it makes you love it. So it creates a love. But there's another type of love, the Ava Hamasuteris, Vasidobe Teva Bayed Midin Sazan Efshalakis. There's a hidden love that every Yid naturally has because he has an Efshalakis, he has a Neshama. The Chasitz of Betibet Sumebish was his Irmoker, it was his Irmoker Vesheresh, which naturally is pulled to Hashem, which is the source of the Neshama. That everyone has it naturally in him, but it's hidden. The hell of a Hester, it's concealed. If you contemplate, this will awaken it and bring it out from being hidden to be revealed. The first one is that you create a new Abba. You don't have that, but if you think about the Abish you will get a new Abba. The second one is, it also comes through contemplating, through his bondedness, but that is not going to make a new Abba that's going to reveal the Abba that you have hidden inside your nature. And the difference between these type of Abed al explains is it's similar to the way things grow and grain grows. There are two ways. Number one is there's a way the grain that grows through planting. You plant it and then from that comes out, grows. Same thing here. You have his bodiness and that makes the Abed come. Like you, things grow, new thing comes out. The second way is there is the aftergrowth, so to speak, they grow by itself. Not that you plant it now. But for Nafritik is there. You plant it before. It fell before. You didn't plant it. And it's there. It's laying that the seeds are there without you intending to. And then after a while, this grows. So that's the difference between these two things. Is a marshal to the difference between two types of Ava. That is the Chilut Vishn Debate Ava. That similar way is the difference between these two levels of Ava. The Ava was written Ava is born in the Ava that is created through your contemplating, through meditation. That's similar to the first level, that the Tvua that grows, the grain that grows, because you plant it. 
So you're creating some, you plant now to make things grow. You think about the Ebishter and that makes something grow out of it. That's the Ave. Shake the Gilu from the Ave Mesiteres, but the revelation of the hidden love is Dukum Saspich. That's like the afterglow, as we call it. It comes, it looks like it comes by itself. Just like in the Moshal, the seeds are there from before. You're not planting now. And now it comes out something that was there already before hidden. Same thing here. The Ave is there from before. It's there automatically. And then it could come out. When you think about it, it'll come out. It won't create something new because it's there from before. It's not, it doesn't come from your planting now. That's what the Al Trebe says in Tera Eir, that the planting of the Avam Sferas, he said it's there from before. That means you're not planting it now. So it's as if it's planted automatically within every yid. That comes from Yosef HaTzadik. Yosef called Tzadik El Yid. But the Ribe Vet Rogeru from Ganana begins, he's called in Zoyar, he's called the gardener of the garden. And it's the Rey El Mamshad the Meir in Ginsa, he brings the light into the garden in the Mokar from the Shams Yisrael. He brings the light into the source of Eden. And from there it comes down to the Eden. So this that we said every Yid has Beteva naturally, the Ava to the Ebesha, but it's hidden. It's there, so to speak, planted before you even do anything about it. Who puts it in? It says Yosef. Yosef is called the gardener, and the gardener is the one that, so it's as if he does it, not every Yid, and he is the one that causes that Ava to come into every single Yid. But those are the Pirish, my Yilakad Yosef is called a Kesef. This is the Pshat of Chesidus when it says Yosef gathered all the Kesef. A Yovei base of Pare, and he brought it to the house of Pare. It means Kesef, the Chal says Chesidus goes on Ava. Chesed. Kesef comes from the word Nichsef Nichsafti. It means yearning. So that is Ave. Ave means you're yearning, you love, you want, you're desiring. So it says he gathered all the Kesef, which is all the Aves. All that says Yesef collected, that means everything was given to Yesef. It says he gave it to Pare, brought it to Pare, the Kesef. He had Kesef, he collected, that means he has Kesef. So he has all these great things in him. He brought it to Pare, which is the Melech. So he brought it to Sviras to Amalchus, which Sviras Amalchus is the mocker of Neshamis, is the source of Neshamis. That means that from Yesef, when he got all the Aves that he has, he brought it into the source of the Neshamis, and from there it comes to every Yid, and every Yid has that Av in him, and is able to bring it out. He says, when Dort Mavuri Baruch has explains at length, like I said, this Drev is not Mavayir in the Protein, that is in the Maimer there, but this is the Chassidus of Pshat of this post. The Rebbe adds, the Yashleimah B'derech Hefshet, Rebbe, he could say, a dominion, the minion is Rashi Baramas V'Pirush, V'Yinalem, 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 V'Yinalem. In the beginning of Rashi, Rashi says on the words, V'Yinalem, means It's like again. And then he gives Vadaimale similar to it is Ain Minahelo. But there's no leader, no as we said Pshat Rasha. But now the Rebbe is going to say a different Pshat and Rasha Al-Tachsidus. The Khidli Bepashtas which Loshan Anhogin Loshan Anhoa. Now still now it came out that Hanhogin means to lead, and you could lead the general, be a leader, and Hanhola also means that. But what is the actual meaning? When do, what is the difference between one and the other? So the Pashta, the difference between the two expressions is When they use Hanhoge, means when you could see it. It's revealed. You could see the guy is doing things. He's leading you. You could see the connection between the, the leader and the one that's being led. That's, a, that's when you use the word a leader. A leader is, a, that's called a manik, that you could see that he is manik, he leads this person. But the loshen hanhole, vice of aklol is the eifim for nonke. Hanhole means you, you lead, but generally, who says, nit nikir from bevel to go, you can't see it. It's not like someone is directly being manik because he takes it by your hand or whatever it is and leading you. You can't see begilu how the manayal, the leader, I mean, even Begash means when you say there's a manayal, there's a leader of a community, a leader of a yeshiva, a leader of this, you can't see, he's not the one that takes care of it. The, the one that's manning means he leads you. So one is more begilu, one is not. He said, Asha Mafarash, according to Asha, explains like this. At the gilu from the Abba Mesoteris, this revelation of the Abba Mesoteris, Vayinalem. Vayinalem means that Yosef gave him the bread. So this is, we said before, it's the Abba Mesoteris. But he's Doba Yedid Every Yid has this, as we said before, Yosef took the Kesef 
that when he sold the lechem, he took the kesef and he brought it to party, which means that Yosef brought down his high madregas of Ave and he brings it down to us. So Rasha says the first thing, that even though it says the word vinalim, but really it's vinagim. We said before, vinagim means manig is when you see it. Nalim is when you, when you nahel is not, you don't see it. So Rasha says that even though it says vinalim, it's kamei vinagim. It's nimshech, it comes down, and it's fled by Yasef. In other words, it's something that is actually happening. There's a closeness between Yasef, who gives us that kayach of Ava Mesoteris. So he's blaze, then Rasha says, V'deimelo ein menayelo. V'deimel means similar, V'deimel also means like. It looks like. It looks like ein menayelo. It looks like that it's, there is no menayel. As duch tzich narui says, it's kum tiyanil from tzich alein. It looks like it's a nil. What does nil mean? Nil when you don't see the connection. You don't see the connection. You think it has nothing to do with the one that's leading you. So it looks like you have it on your own. So Rasha says these words. means it really comes from them. There's a connection between two, you and the one that gave it, which is Yasef. It looks like which means it looks like that you can't tell the manayal. You think it, it looks like you have your own keach. The root of this ave that comes from Yesef, the root of Yosef, comes from such a very high Kedusha. It's the Kedusha. root of this ave that comes from Yosef, comes from such a very high supreme light. Higher than Nishtal Shlaz, that's the root of Yosef, which comes from Yosef. You don't see in the revealed way that it comes from Yosef, which is through Yosef at Tzadik. But that's what it says. But Deimelei, it looks like it's a gather of a nil. It brings that ayah from the word nil, a manayala, but it's only Daimalay. It looks like it, and you might think it comes from you, the second level, but it doesn't. It comes from Ayla. That's what Rashi brings the second posse, according to Chesidus, where it says that he will lead us on the waters, the calm waters. But those in, it was in them, and here we see both things. What does what it mean, both? He explains. The fact that you get the revelation of this hidden love, if you reveal it, is not because of what you're doing now. Not because of your isbonness makes it happen. We said this is the Teva there before you even think. Nor It's almost, it's similar to things that grow by the water. By water, when things grow, you don't really plant there. It's because the seeds are there from before and it starts as if growing by itself. So, so here when we say the Pasuk, on one hand it shows that's not something that you did. It's like Davim Sateras, that's not coming from you. On the other hand, what's the source of the Mei Menuchas is this level of Yesod, and the way it says, this is connected to that Madrege. That you get from a level which is very high, higher than Bine. It says, goes on Bina, Bina is higher than the That's where Yosef Atzadig gets his Kayach. So the Postic says here, Amei Menuchas in Naaleini. Here there is in Naaleini, that's Amei Menuchas means things that grow by itself, which is Avam Seteris. And when you get Avam Seteris, you reveal it through your thinking. Don't think it's your thinking that created it. It's created there from, from because it's there before. But at the same time, and, and that's what the Amei Menuchas means. You get it from Amei Menuchas. From the very, very high level. And it's not from what you did now. How do you get it? It's through contemplating. It says, Wine comes in, secret comes out. Now, the secret is the hidden love. What's a hidden? Hidden is a secret. And how do you get the revelation? Wine. But Yaina Shalteira, which is the Isbonanus and the greatness of Hashem. So Nichmas Yain, Yotasod, if you have the Yain, you have the Isbonanus, that's where you get the secret, which is the the Gil of Avam Sotera. Well, that is then the same way, the Khlimut from Yaina Shalteira, Pnima Satera, by learning Yaina Shalteira, which is Pnima Satera, Chsidness, is a Yotasod, the secrets will come out, that means Avam Sotera will come, but it'll be this to them, Gil for them, Sosam and Elam Atachas, it'll reveal the secret, the greatest, deepest secrets that there are. What's the greatest secret? The Ketzagula. The end of the gula. That means that learning this will bring the gula. 
‫שהפתוח זה מלך המשיח זה מלך שם טוב, ‫רק זה משיח פרמס זה מלך שם טוב, ‫אז יקום איש היפוץ ומנסח החוצה, ‫זה הוקם ואין זה וולף פרינס ‫זה מלך שם טוב, חסידס, ‫ואין זה מלך שם טוב, ‫זה 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 מלך שם טוב